of our time. Nice to see you, to see you. Read my lips. I'm a stonker. It's been a stonker. That's one small step for man, one giant stone for man. Civil War special. Oh, damn. One measly civil war in the entire history of England, and I'm on the wrong bloody side. <laughs> well, Rick, your brain is like the four-headed, man-eating, haddock fish beast of Aberdeen. In what way? It doesn't exist. <laughs> We must do something, otherwise the black adders are as doomed as that ant. What ant? <laughs> that one. There's a tavern in the tail. For God's sake, stop that, Baldrick. <laughs> it's bad enough having one's life in utter ruins without being serenaded by a moron with all the entertainment value of a tap-dancing oyster. <laughs> you very small, total bastard. Oh, please, sir, don't kill me. I have a cunning plan to save the king. Oh, well, forgive me if I don't do a cartwheel of joy. Your family's record in the Department of Cunning Planning is about as impressive as Stumpy Oleg McNoleg's personal best <laughs> in the Market Harbour Marathon. <laughs> However, I'm a busy man and I can't be bothered to punch you at the moment. <laughs> Here is my fist. Kindly run towards it as fast as you can. C is for Crime Watch and other programmes we've thrown by there. Good evening. Tonight, a gang of thieves is causing mayhem to businesses throughout the southeast of England. They specialise in audacious robberies of office equipment and they're now thought to be operating in the London area. We believe there are three of them. The leader of the gang is of very normal appearance, he's heavily built and aged between 35 and 40. His two accomplices, however, dress all in black, black overalls and black balaclavas. Do call us if you've seen anything suspicious, and especially if you saw men moving desks or computers, typewriters or filing cabinets or any similar equipment last Monday into a, a large van at Garrett Lane in Wandsworth. If you saw anything unusual on that night, remember, any information will be treated in the strictest of confidence. And remember, we're waiting for your call. Sue. <laughs> about credit cards stolen on holiday. So, on your behalf, we checked with the credit companies. The general opinion is if you do steal credit cards while you're on holiday, you can safely use them for about a week. After that, things might start to get a bit hot. So, our advice is, wherever possible, just take the cash. <laughs> Inspector Morse. G is for gunk tank and all the goo and gob in it. Uh, any last requests of any sort? Um, well, can I not? I was worried about the... the um... Yes, come on. <laughs> what, 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 what? Have you got a sort of a... Uh, you're talking about, aren't you? You're talking yeah. about a shower cup, aren't you? <laughs> oh, please, please, please. Oh. Go on, give it to him. Do you think? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 